With P6 there's a problem with time. P6 is an extremely useful and valuable tool, but the data is only useful in its live state. As your projects change, yesterday's data is lost in favor of today's working data. This makes back-in-time reporting error-prone and clumsy at best, requires users to copy and paste projects, and leaves the projects open to changes after they've been pasted into other EPS nodes. This is where Data Warehouse brings a solution. It's currently used in oil and gas, turnarounds, engineering and construction, and utilities business spaces. And what it does is snapshots real-time data, freezing it in time and storing it outside of the P6 working set. The snapshots cannot be touched by P6 or the users, and this allows you to see how your projects evolve over time. You can look at the past, see how the projects change, look at your schedule and cost and compare those and how it's changed over time, and it also provides a level of data safety. One of our clients has accidentally deleted a large swath of P6 data, but knowing he had a snapshot, he took the snapshot, made an Excel dump, and restored that to his P6 environment using our P6 Excel loader. This shortened a week's worth of effort into one day. Data Warehouse denormalizes your P6 data into easy-to-query tables. It preserves the actual data while simplifying the structure, and this allows you to shorten your report development time and also makes your data model easier to understand. You can report on the data using Oracle's BI Publisher, our EP Data Warehouse dashboarding tool, or any other SQL-connected reporting engine. So let's go see it in action. I've logged into P6, and I'll simply click on the Reports tab, and I've built a custom report which connects our data warehouse data with live P6 data. And I'm going to print one report off for August of this year and download it to my computer. I'm also going to print off one report for July and download that as well. So now I'm going to open those files up. This first worksheet tab gives me an overall summary of how all of my projects are doing by type. And I can see that the project performance is actually doing pretty poor. Three project types are in the red, two are in the yellow, and only one is in the green. But in August, things are looking much better, and we've been able to improve on the overall performance. I've now only got one in the red, and the rest are in the yellow and the green. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or visit our website.